We'll move to uh, five minute questions and we will start with the gentleman from Louisiana, Mr. Johnson. Thank you, <clears throat> Mr. Weiss. The rule of law does <clears throat> distinguish our country, but you have not upheld that. You have allowed the rule of law to erode. And that's why 65% of the people in this country have no faith in the Department of Justice under your leadership. They don't trust it, they don't trust you. The reason is because they're witnessing every day a politicized Justice Department in a two-tiered system of justice. For example, they see the DOJ, of course, aggressively prosecuting President Biden's chief political rival, Mr. Trump, while at the same time, they see slow walking and special treatment given to the president's son. That's just a fact that everybody can see with their own two eyes. I wanna focus on that investigation of the Biden family. We have many important questions for you today about that. Let me, let me just get right to the chase. Has anyone from the White House provided direction at any time to you personally or to any senior officials at the DOJ regarding how the Hunter Biden investigation was to be carried out? No. Have you had personal contact with anyone at FBI headquarters about the Hunter Biden investigation? Uh, I, don't I, don't, I don't recollect the answer to that question, but the FBI works for the Justice Department. It's, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You don't, recollect, you don't recollect whether you've talked with anybody at FBI headquarters about an investigation of the president's son? I, I don't believe that I did. I promised the Senate when I came um, before it for confirmation that I would leave Mr. Weiss in place and that I would not interfere with his investigation. Okay, did I you ever- kept, I have kept that promise. All right, have you had personal contact with anybody at the Baltimore field office on the Hunter Biden matter? No. On July 10th, 2023, U.S. Attorney David Weiss told Senator Lindsey Graham, quote, I had discussions with departmental officials regarding potential appointment under 28 U.S.C. Uh, section 515 which would have allowed me to file charges in a district outside my own without the partnership of the local U.S. attorney, end quote. With whom did Mr. Weiss have those discussions? I'm not going to get into the internal deliberations of the department. Um, oh, but you must, sir. This is important for us. We have okay. oversight responsibility over your department, and we need these answers. That's appropriate and necessary for Mr. Weiss to have conversations with the department. I made clear that if he wanted to bring a case in any jurisdiction, he would be able to do that. The way you do that is to get an order signed by the Attorney General called a 515 order. I promised he would be able to do that, and he in his letters made clear he understood he would be able to do that. Okay, can you tell us about any briefings or discussions that you personally have had with Mr. Weiss regarding any and all federal investigations of Hunter Biden? I'm gonna say again, I promised the Senate that I would not interfere with Mr. Weiss. So you have not, I'm just, under oath today, your testimony is, you have not had any discussions with Mr. Weiss about this matter? Under oath, my testimony today is that I promised that the, uh, the Senate I would not um, intrude in his investigation. I do not intend to discuss the internal Justice Department uh, deliberations, whether or not I had them. Oh, okay, so your, your testimony today is you're not gonna tell us whether you've had discussions with Mr. Weiss. My testimony today is I told the committee that I would not interfere I made clear that Mr. Weiss would have the authority to bring cases that he thought were appropriate. Okay. Mr. Weiss's All letter. Right. Okay, let me stop you. For, for a second time, sir. Are you aware that FBI officials have come before this committee and they have stated that there was a cumbersome bureaucratic process that Mr. Weiss had to go through to bring charges in another judicial district? Do you know that? I'm not aware, but that's not true. There's nothing cumbersome about the process. So those All whistleblowers are to lying to us under oath? They're, those whistleblowers are lying? I didn't that say that. Their, their description of the process is cumbersome is an opinion. It's not a fact question. All I have to do is okay, sign a right, section. Let me get to the fact. Mr. Weiss has been the lead prosecutor on the Hunter Biden case since 2018, correct? I'm sorry? Mr. Weiss has been the lead prosecutor on the Hunter Biden case since 2018. Now, here's the question. He's been the lead the, prosecutor since he was appointed by President Trump. Okay, why, let me ask you, why has the Justice Department dragged this investigation out for so long? Does it really take years to determine if Hunter Biden lied on a federal form related to purchasing a firearm? Mr. Weiss was a longtime career prosecutor. President Trump appointed him as the- You're United not States. answering the question. Is that standard procedure? Should it take that long to make such a simple determination? I'm answering the question. Mm -hmm. Give me an opportunity to do so. Okay. He was charged uh, with that investigation under the previous administration. He's continued. He knows how to conduct investigations and I have not intruded or attempted to evaluate that because I, that was the promise I made to the Senate. 
The whistleblowers uh, gave us testimony about serious misconduct at the Justice Department in regards to the preferential treatment afforded Hunter Biden. Has your office requested an investigation into that? Uh, there are well-known processes for how whistleblowers make their claims. I am a strong proponent of whistleblowers and a strong defender. We have an inspector general's office. We have an office of professional responsibility. That is the way in which complaints from whistleblowers should be and are appropriately handled. I'm out of time. I yield back. Gentlemen, yields back. The chair recognizes.